sorry. Video number two. All right, what happens is the check engine light's going to blink twice. It's telling you that it's going to be starting the diagnostic mode. You're going to idle up. I don't know if you can hear it, other than my blendy door, which I'm not looking forward to taking apart. Um, so here we go. The car's idling. It's going to idle uh, a lot of high. It's going to take a few minutes. Um, so let's just wait for that. And I'm going to put the camera right here so you can see what I'm going to see. It's going to tell me to throttle up on the engine. It's going to blink uh, once. And then I'm going to go ahead and do that. You're supposed to turn the wheel, but um, I'm just not going to do that. So I'm going to get a code for that. Anyways, just waiting. Okay, it's going to throttle down a little bit. It's going to the cycle. Now it's coming down. The blinking is going to going to blink here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and throttle the engine. Yep, see that? And there's the codes. Here we go. More codes. I'm just letting them roll. Now, one of the codes was, I guess, the sensor for the coolant, 116. If you're getting a 116 code, which I was reading up on it, um, at least what is what I, I think it's a 116 code, or I believe it's 116. And then um, I gotta replace that sensor, and then. It appears that my EGR valve is one of the codes, another one. I replaced it, but I didn't... We replaced it, but we didn't take off the tube that it goes to it. So, I guess we'll see what's going on with that. But, uh... I think it, uh, it's done. Now it's going to cycle again. That should be it. This time I'm doing it during the day, as requested. Alright guys, well, um, I'm going to put those two videos up and you can hopefully see what's going on. You can definitely see what's going on with my clicking issue. Uh, I got it just, you know, see what I get for trying to replace that. Alright guys, uh, hope you enjoy the video.